Good morning. People always ask me, what, what's my routine day? My routine day is, I'm up at 5, 5.30, exercise, read the morning news, update on the journal, prepare myself for the day, update my three goals for the day, which I must accomplish so that I can feel like I have done all the things that I need to do and then go to work and be your best, live your best and always, always give back. Treated 11 non-obese adults using a popular cryolipolysis system. The patients all had normal BMIs and exercised at least twice a week. Better. Are you better every day? You have to ask yourself that every day. I do. And what do you do to make yourself better? Learn one new thing every day. Do something different. Give back. Be better. That's why we're here. Okay? Don't stagnate. Have a great one. Less than one day? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, to be less than you know, one day. I know. Day. I expected to have a head that big. And <laughs> no. A black face. That's yeah. great. And how much the blood pressure is great, right? Blood pressure is great. Perfect. Yep. Right drain, 0.5 cc if you left one. Wow. Over that's, awesome. that's great. Yeah. That's great. And then tomorrow morning I'll take this off very early and then okay. you will wash yeah. your hair. <laughs> we'll shower you. My nurses will shower you and then we'll go home and then I'll see you uh, early next week. But okay. you look amazing. Eating okay? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Good. Yeah. All right. High protein, low salt. Walk a lot today. Yeah. Okay. I already have. I'm kind of high for a bit. Uh, I'm <laughs> you rock. Okay, Thank good. And I'll so see you much. later today and then okay. uh, we'll have fun. Good. If you have any questions, Diane will take care of it. Thanks so much. Thank All right, you rock. So Nelson, what are the key components of a component dorsal reduction in a rhinoplasty? Basically the four R's. Release, resect, grasp, and then restore. Absolutely correct. And the most important thing is the restoration. Use of tension spanning sutures, flaps, or grabs. Stay tuned. Okay, remember. Remember, release, resect, grasp, restore. <laughs> Teresa, we yep. have some fun? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing your um, upper and lower eyelids. Mm -hmm. We'll soften that, and uh, we'll add some fat in your lower eyelid and take a little extra skin. You can see she's lost a little fat. Look straight at me. Oh, look straight. Yeah, it's fine, yeah, great. Then you have a little bit of redundancy of your muscle, and I'll remove that, but no fat. And then close your eyes. And then you've got a little extra skin here. We'll follow the natural crease and soften that. Follow the natural crease. And just make sure that we get all of that extra skin out. Look straight at me. Great. Good. And then we're going to add a little bit of fat to your face. Small amount here, here, and here here and then the three things you want to fix on your um, nose as, as you had a previous rhinoplasty mm -hmm. are that it's deviated and it's kind of twisted and collapsed here right yeah and collapsed on the right side on the right side and you can see she's got a little bit of a poly beak here it rounds it off and she's got ailer notching that's great and then she had a previous mose so I'm gonna dermabrade this little area too at the end so you have a little sanded there, stitches here and here. Melissa, well, seven days. Post up, so what do you good. think? Amazing. I thought it was going to be great, but this like exceeded my expectations. Awesome. Yeah. Worth the trip from New Jersey? 100%. <laughs> so, yeah, you can see it's pretty amazing. You know, your nose is straight now, and if you look straight in it, you can see it's an unbelievable. And it's, we brought the tip up, we softened it, made it smaller. And of course, the dorsum is beautiful, but the tip is still very swollen. And, uh, you know, and so are the side view. But you can see that it's quite different. It's beautiful, it's soft, and you have your tip brought up. And, and of course, that's all going to uh, change so much. And for a week, it's uh, really quite amazing. And, uh, and it'll dramatically go down in the next several weeks. So, cool.
you will rock. You know, I use the Simply Saline and all the other good stuff. And you'll rock. Awesome. Thanks, Doc. You bet. It's my playing. Fly home Monday. Cool. All right. Take care. <laughs> Restolin, the tear trough. I like Restolin because it really is a non hydrophilic filler. So you just put it on and it actually works great for softening this area. And the key is you go right deep. Look straight up, there you go. Hey, congrats, Ed, Mohan, Farian. You guys rock. I am so honored that you gave me the Outstanding Clinical Faculty Award from Baylor. It's unbelievable. Thank you so much. You guys have fun, enjoy, live your dream. Okay, always. We're just trying to give, give us like, if you can, kind of a quick, like, this is what my first three years looked like in broad strokes. He's drinking the Crown and Coke with two limes. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, we remember. All right, Smitty, why don't you give us, give us an update on what you're doing? Sure. So um, I have not been in practice for three years yet, at least in my own practice. So I ended up leaving Boston where I was in an academic position, and I opened up my own shop, my own practice down in New Jersey. Um, open November 2019, shut down, like, <laughs> you know, four or five months later. So that was pretty awesome. So how have you grown your so, practice? Um, so yeah, I mean, it's home. So between, you know, my family's network and my network, um, you know, people kind of know me and my, my parents and the community and things. So that helped. Um, I think initially pre-COVID, I did everything that I could to kind of go out there and network and meet people. And a lot of the hospitals, you know, have networking events and things like that. So I have a unique experience. So for me, the best option was to go solo and make it work on my own. So. And, and Smita, you really went to where you wanted to live, what you wanted to do, and do what you want to do, right? Yeah, I did. I did. I, yeah. You know, and it took... A lot of soul searching, <clears throat> you know, I didn't take make yep. this decision overnight because to be honest, opening up my own practice and being on my own was kind of the last thing I was thinking about. So my question is about marketing um, and the importance of a website in the era of Instagram. Here we are at Slovacek. It looks awesome. Get all kinds of stuff.